All right, Mayor, thanks for joining us. I just wanted to uh, check in given uh, the spike in community cases and the surge that we're in right now. Uh, I know that you uh, sent a letter to the governor requesting some sort of uh, protocols. Um, can you give us an update on the mitigation efforts right now that's taking place on RODA for the community cases? Yeah, so uh, good afternoon, Tom. Uh, so, um, you know, as you are aware, I wrote a letter to the governor regarding uh, protocols. And um, as of today, uh, I have not received any um, <clears throat> response yet. However, I'm continuing to take a um, uh, uh, preventive measure or uh, like such as the uh, temperature check and uh, uh, taking their uh, phone numbers. Uh, just in case. So, um, <clears throat> like I said, um, you know, I wrote a letter and I, in an effort, hoping that uh, we'll have some kind of uh, preventive measures. So, uh, up to today, uh, I have not received any word. However, I received a letter, uh, rather a call uh, from the hospital uh, uh, <clears throat> to set a meeting with me uh, sometime uh, this afternoon. And I said, uh, the sooner the better so if not maybe tomorrow but like i said it's a uh, sooner the better and what exactly are you requesting uh, to be put in place um <clears throat> i requested that uh, you know uh, not to abort any passengers uh, uh unless they were tested and they were negative and is there a particular time frame um or just before boarding uh, well, that I, I suggested um, 72 hours prior to boarding. However, you know, um, I leave that uh, time frame to the professionals and what they think is better uh, approach to that uh, effect. And uh, Mayor, what are you hearing from your constituents? What are Rota residents feeling in this moment? Well, um, you know, first of all, they appreciate the letter um, and, uh, you know, they were they were fearful, uh, just like I am. And uh, I'm praying to God every day that the uh, this horrible disease do, do not uh, enter our island because it's a very, uh, I, I view it as a very, very serious uh, health issues. And uh, so, you know, that that's, that's what we do now. And Mayor, uh, last uh, we checked in with CHCC, they told us 76.8% uh, of people on Rota are vaccinated. Can you tell us uh, a little bit about, uh, you know, testing is available on Rota and vaccinations are available. Are you seeing residents avail of that? Uh, 76 is a high number, but are people continuing to be tested? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, as we speak, we have uh, people at the uh, hospital being uh, vaccinated. <clears throat> and. Uh, I would say the fortunate part about it is the uh, the spike of the uh, COVID-19 in Saipan seemed to uh, uh, change the minds of these people that have not been vaccinated yet. And Mayor, uh, of course, we hope we don't get to this point, but uh, I, I know that uh, these plans have, you know, we, we're about two years into this pandemic now. Uh, if, if someone were to get uh, sick on Rota because of COVID-19, uh, where, where, where would they get help? Or are you aware of any of those plans? Or is that what you're meeting about later this afternoon? Because uh, as, if people don't know, there's no hospital right on Rota. So uh, are you aware of what treatment might look like if someone were to get seriously ill because of COVID? Um, I know there are no confirmed cases yet, but just wanted to ask you. Yeah, that, that's a, perhaps that's some of the issues that we will be discussing uh, later on this afternoon. Um, however, um, we we would send a, a person to Saipan for for a treatment and uh, only an isolation here on the island until we can board them to Saipan. All right, Mayor. I know, I know uh, you'll probably uh, have uh, more information after your meeting this afternoon with health officials. Um, I did want to just get your comments, though, on, on other matters also um, with regards to school reopening. Um, what's the update on that? Because we know that it's based on uh, testing now. Do you know if uh, when the school may reopen? As I understand it, they were um, reopened uh, yesterday. And also that uh, they were being the students were being tested yesterday of uh, antigen. 
So uh, at this point, uh, fortunately enough, we have uh, zero uh, positive um, results. All right, and Mayor, before we let you go, do you have any message to your community, uh, to the to the CNMI, uh, given all this news? Uh, yes, uh, I would, um, you know, encourage our people to really um, um, enforce the uh, three three Ws. You know, they wear a mask, um, uh, watch your distance, and uh, wash your hands. And uh, you know, please be uh, very careful on on your uh, uh, movement around the community. Uh, so um, that's the only way we could, uh, you know, uh, uh, prevent these diseases from spreading. So um, again, I would uh, encourage our people to, if you're not vaccinated yet, uh, please do so. All right, Mayor, thank you so much for your time and I uh, hope to keep in touch, especially after uh, you come out of that meeting with public health.